this is like a family youtuber ever. and i believe they made this video for someone who it sounded like it was a kid oh yeah i remember it's like a kid who was trying who had to pick between getting braces and getting a ferret and this family <laughs> made this video to convince the, her to get a ferret over braces get the braces kid <laughs> um, has a litter pan has another place to poop here, and then another bed area on the bottom. There's a ferret nation, is it? Yeah, that looks like a double ferret nation. That's a little Do you want to? I want to go back and see that again because, like, this is the top. What is that? That looks like a homemade litter box, and yeah. with food or something it's next very, to it. Totally uh, very cozy. It's. Pan. it's I mean, it's a filthy cage. Place. Look yeah. at that. Ooh. It needs to be scrubbed. This cage is filthy would be my first. It's like they've had it for a long yeah, time. Yeah, it looks like they've had it for a long time. I don't know how, I don't think, I don't know if it mentions in this video how long these ferrets are in this cage, but this is a very boring and empty cage because they just have the little bed at the bottom and then they have a hammock. That's all they have in this cage. Yeah. It's... At least it's called How We Care for Our Ferrets instead yes. of You Need to Watch This Video. <laughs> or Ferret Care Guide, yeah. How to Take Care of Ferrets. This is how we, how they do it, which so far, not great. Uh, also, look at all sense. the litter on the floor. There you go. DJ was here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've had this cage for a I like long this time. Music. Yeah. And we used to well, this is the brand... We get, the, we get the cat and kitten because it's like... <laughs> so I'll say that since this video has been made, this, this food is no longer recommended for ferrets. It has caused so many bladder stones in ferrets. This food looks really good on the outside. I mean, it's super expensive as well. It's Marketing. like $70 for, for a bag of this food. Wow, and they probably think they're doing so well for their ferret. Yeah, and because it's expensive is, and it has... It has nice... They're willing to spend that much. Have you heard of raw? <laughs> the uh, ferret brand. Ferret yes, brand. Ferret brand. Ferret brand. More protein than the ferret food. But in addition to that, they also get <laughs> smelt. Smelt? Let me see your baby. What? Fish. They're like little fishes. <laughs> okay. So. That's. Frozen smelt. Let's open it up. Good, I guess. Some. They get two of these a day. It's good, but two, two a day. Ooh. Ferrets should not have a lot of fish in their diet. Mink? should have a lot of fish in their diet because mink eat a lot of fish. Because what we do is we feed fish twice a week, yeah. maybe. And they what really, really, really enjoy it. We feed white fish. White fish. White fish, we've done salmon. They really, really like it. So we add it just to switch things up like twice a week, but twice a day is a lot. A lot of fish. That's well, a lot of fish. Actually, the first day, we'll have to the Look at that. What is that? Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, well, he, he should probably doesn't need it. Hang on, let's tell Sedona. If you Sedona's get a ferret, like make the sure purse, you get the, the Marshall breed. Because this breed of ferret is called the Marshall breed, and they're bred for their temperament. Only their temperament. Only their temperament. They're not bred for looks or anything else. Oh, Because okay. most ferrets have a very bad wow, temper. that was so no, bad. This is, no, this is what they do. They, they breed ferrets for testing, the ones that are not genetically superior. They, they sell to the pet store. How we you, get the bad batch. How do you get that much misinformation in one go? Well, because Marshall Labs has two different websites. One website for the public, which is like Marshall Pet Products, and then the other one, Marshall Bioresources, which is for laboratories and people who are interested in importing animals into their research facility. research facility that's the one that they do not want the average consumer to find so you will not see you'll not see any anything like that on the pet product website they don't say anything about their testing facility their labs nothing like that they just talk about um, the stores that you can buy them that they're bred to be the friendliest ferrets that they're they're bred all year round it's like a if you've ever seen those videos of like farm factories, it's pretty much what a ferret. It's the exact same thing. So I don't know, like how you could trust the breeding of like hundreds of thousands of just. I don't know how you could how you could trust a place that doesn't show you pictures of the inside. They don't want anyone to see what the inside of their facility looks like. All we have is like drone footage. Very secretive because. If you ever knew what they were doing to these ferrets, then you ferrets, wouldn't say what this guy just mm -hmm. said. Ferrets, dogs, cats, mini pigs, 
That's what they breed. It's Come on. That's all we're going to watch of this video. These people have 34 Wait, point... Wait, respond. Wait, really? Where? Sedona fun Oh, bits. they're so cute and funny. We'll watch this again when Sedona comes home from school. I would allow Sedona to get a ferret, but we might have to convince her dad. Do you think it would be okay to get just one ferret if we played with her a lot and oh, also no. with our puppies? Or would she be lonely? <laughs> Wait, I want to see what they say. Having just one is okay. No! Our first ferret was an only child. Lol. So this is a short video that Chewy.com put out um, this year. And Chewy is owned by PetSmart. And PetSmart, the ones that I've been to, they don't sell a lot of live ferrets. I don't know if they do at all. Petco does, but I don't, I have not seen. You ordered that. It makes it sound like they sell dead ferrets. <laughs> they sell dead ferrets. Now watch this one. Chewy is a very, very big. I don't know if you know, because you're not really. So you want to be a ferret ferret. This is good. Friends and love attention. This is good. Yes. Okay, I, can leave me. I don't know what this means though. Yeah. Does this mean like interacting with the ferrets? Because I agree with that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I probably don't interact yeah. with my ferrets for three hours total a day because yeah, they, they're just running around yeah, they, and like they oh. do their own thing. But if this means out of the cage, I wish that they would specify. Well, I think. Um, to a normal viewer, that doesn't mean. I think it just means playtime. I don't think that. I don't know. Time. I don't think so because if you think about it, most people think that they belong in a cage. So when they watch this video, they're like, "Oh, they only need two to three hours of playtime out of the cage." Let's keep watching. Okay. That's a cute ferret. Yeah. Not if you take care of them well. Well, yeah. Gentle hand. So teach most of them. Yes. Don't feed Don't that. Don't feed that oh. paste. <laughs> no. I like that they say if they have their vaccines. I'm not going to go into it in this video, but... Vaccines can be dangerous to your research. Yeah, vaccines can be dangerous for ferrets. I'm not an anti-vaxxer by any means. Vaccinate your dogs. Vaccinate and your kids. Your, and your kids Please. and yourself. I don't want measles. But ferrets, it, there's just not, there hasn't been a lot of research done on this topic. And they are probably the animal that is most prone to getting negative vaccine reactions. Which is probably because the vaccines that most, vets are giving yeah. are not, you know... They're not made for ferrets. Usually they'll use a cat version and the dose has to be exactly right. Thank you, Chewy. Thank you. Chewy. <laughs> Don't feed those sticks. Those okay. sticks are kind of <laughs> Do we have lots of love? Like, I think that this video was not bad. Not terrible. It's just a cute little video. I mean, the obviously products. it... <laughs> It sort of simplifies, makes things look... I mean, it's, ferrets are obviously complicated animals to have, but I think that this video was fine. Yeah. I like that it said... It didn't even mention buying them from a, a pet quick store. minute video. Yeah, I, also... Yeah, it didn't yeah, even mention don't... it at all, which is nice. You just define the word with the word. Dogs and cats are primarily carnivores, but it doesn't hurt them to eat fruit or vegetables. It does hurt Dogs cats. Once in a while, but ferrets can't. They have to have a and dogs should not be eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. I don't want people to think yeah, that. No. I think that a lot of people, myself included, growing up, because they say, oh, you can't feed cats, but, but dogs can have fruits and vegetables. I think that, that makes it seem like they can have it's a, a bad, lot. It's a bad rap. But they can. They shouldn't have, they shouldn't have a lot of fruits dogs and vegetables at all. I think it's also dogs for them. Thing. I think it's for them, even with raw, it's less than 5%. But anyways. And fat diet. Lola does not get any fruits or vegetables as an occasional healthy snack like my dogs and cats do. She just gets straight up meat. She has these um, treats and um, I'll put a This music is so loud. <laughs> Those are not good. No. <laughs> banana flavor, but it's actually chicken yep. that's flavored like banana. And it smells How do you think they the make banana. that? Chicken flavored. Like no, banana, banana flavored chicken. Lola Infusing. Is, um, Ugh. 
practice of being a vegetarian. Lola what? would do that, but because of health reasons, she can't. It's like an exception because she would die. That is, a, that is true. She would die. It's quirky oh, of her to say that her fair is Hindu. I like that. <laughs> I don't know why. On it, like a cat does, palipe are keratinous fish hook like bristles, the same thing that's on a cat's tongue, the rough stuff that they use to This is cool information to have, I guess. Mm -hmm. You still have to wash them. Not frequently. No, you don't. But okay. What do you look at these little palipe hooks on their tongue? And that also means that like cats, they can get hairballs. So sometimes you have to get hairball control. You can get it in like a formula for them that you can put in the It's interesting she puts this because this is a, in an entirely different product. Upper respiratory yeah. relief. Yeah. Wow. Marshalls makes that. That's <laughs> Because they know that most yeah. of their ferrets have upper respiratory problems. It's like they're spelling it out for you. They're... <laughs> They, they know what they're doing. Hairballs are can be a problem, though. Yes, hairballs can be a problem. So they sell, not this product for it, but they sell ferret lax, is what it's called. And it, it's, a, it's a malt paste. Egg. You can use eggs, either just the yolk or the entire egg whisked together, and you can save the shell as well if you're a raw feeder. You can use the entire egg. Or you can feed a tiny bit of Vaseline for situations. Yeah, situations that are bad, like they swallowed something and you saw them like swallow something really bad, then you can feed them Vaseline for a more immediate If it's really, effect. really bad, If it's really, really bad, obviously go to the vet, but yes, hairballs are a problem. Which I feel like not many people know. I didn't know. I know. You know. Which is really great. They will run around and play, and they're very, very playful. I like to let her out for two, sometimes three hours a day. Oh. Oh. No. Two hours is so, is so bad. There's 24 of those in a day. I feel like it's this myth that ferrets are just sleeping the whole time that makes yeah. people justify the fact They don't that sleep all the time, and you'll notice... Though, if you're keeping them in a cage for 20 hours a day, guess what they're going to do? Sleep. Because they have nothing, nothing else, else to, to do. do. <laughs> nothing else to do. So this idea that ferrets are sleeping all the time is because... You aren't <laughs> keeping them awake. Yeah, you aren't keeping them awake. A lot of ferrets, they would be more than happy if you were to wake them up to play with them. We do we do it all the time. If, like, on gloomy days, they sleep a lot. Yeah. On dark, gloomy days, they sleep the majority of the day. And if it's been, it's been like, like, half a day, yeah. we're like, hey, guys, Let's come on, up. wake up. Let's play. And then they're like, sure. Yeah, and then they're up, and they're about, and they're... They're all like, about sure. it. They're running around and being crazy, but... That's just sad. I don't know where they get two hours from. Because the American Ferret Association, unless they changed it, has been four hours minimum. Which is not enough, but that's what they recommend. Yeah. I don't know where they get this idea from. And, like, the, f the first video that we saw, she was like, people have said only one hour. Like, where, where does she see that? I think that's just people... That talk to yeah, her. Yeah, that... grapevine type... That's really sad. It is important that they don't stay in their cage all day because they're what to be Well, she says that, but that's literally all day. Run around. 22 hours is literally all day. They do take a lot of work. It's not necessarily the hardest work, but it is a lot of work. There are many things you gotta consider before buying a ferret, like all the things they need to do. <laughs> little socks. To a minimum, which means that their living space Mittens. requires a lot of maintenance. As long as you're spot cleaning every chance that you get, there's really no more odor than, say, a hamster or a gerbil. I agree Even with that. Trigger box trained, it's a whole lot easier to take care of. I can make another video just solely on that if that's something you guys would be interested in. I like in. his that's flamingo tie. For care of your Ooh. Video. I may also publish a video <laughs> that is solely about keeping the odor of a ferret down because that seems like the largest concern of my family. Well, I get this question a lot, is how to make ferrets smell less, and the answer is simple. No, you cannot. They you, smell. They They're smell. Smelly animals. They smell, but you want to I mean, say how you control it? No, you just clean. You keep it clean. You keep it... And... I, I you feed them a raw diet, a balanced raw diet, because I already talked about this, but you weren't here that our foster ferrets smelled oh, yeah. so much more oh, yeah. than our ferrets do. The ferrets, their tails will smell like grape soda. Fun fact. It's true. <laughs> you can smell all of our ferrets. And, <laughs> and smell they smell grapey. like grape soda. 
but ferrets you do not need two of. It's nice to have two of them because they can socialize together when you're busy, but it is not required for you to have two of them as long as you have enough time to spend and play with them. I know why he says this. It's because he only has one. No. No, it's because this is... I know this because this is what I learned before getting Patsu was having one ferret is okay. That is what you get when you Google that question. But the majority of the time they would benefit... Oh, gosh. You just need to see how ferrets interact with one another. When you see ferret friends interacting, it, it's just... It's heartwarming. It's just... I can't imagine them, like, without their siblings. Yeah. Like, you can't picture Patsu without Howl or Momo without Appa. Hmm. It's just... It's sad. Topic of playing with your little bandit. Ferrets form emotional bonds with humans just like cats or dogs. I don't know about cats. Cats are kind of just psychotic, and I think that they would eat their own little lives and not... <laughs> True! True! <laughs> We're not cat people. <laughs> they also require a lot of money. So they're not cheap, are they? No. Mm -mm. I think this is the first video that actually says that ferrets are expensive. I'll put together this is He's got a nice script. He has a nice script. He's good at talking to the camera. They perfected the art of getting out of their cage. So make sure that the area that the cage is in is also fair. That is true. However, if you offer enough free roam time, rarely will your ferret have cage rage or trying to escape. What did you think about it? I think he's got the right idea. I think with a little more research into some stuff he he's, I think, he's an ally i think that he's this third ally i think that this video is my favorite yeah yeah the chewy one wasn't terrible the chewy the, one wasn't terrible it was but, only a minute long i'm but, sure if they uh, kept going i would have because it talked about mainly because it talked about adoption and it didn't mention yeah. anything about buying from the pet store like in my ideal care guide which i won't say anything about wrong but it would be mainly focused on adopting and free roam because i think while diet is extremely important it's i it's more important for all ferrets to have yeah. the free roam time that they need can't expect everybody to can't expect everyone to feed a natural and healthy and fresh diet but that was, that was a little <laughs> That was our last video that we will be reacting to today. Let me know if you would like to see Brian in more videos. He would definitely do it if you comment down below and you have to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, then he won't be in another video. Right? Right. Subscribe. <laughs> Hit the bell. <laughs> Check out my website and I wanted to give a shout out to someone special because we have had, well, I have had, you're kind of a part of it. I have had my first student graduate from my raw feeding course this week. Woo! Yay. Nice job, Crystal and her three ferrets Yay. have graduated. They're the first graduates of graduates graduates of my raw feeding course, and I want everyone to congratulate her. Nice job. <laughs> you killed it. You killed it. You did such a great job. I'm so proud of you. 4.0 A plus. Yes, she got a 4.0. <laughs> I'm so proud. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a little shout out. I think I'll do that for anyone who graduates. I think I will. Looking at you, was it six other students? I don't know how many students I have anymore. Looking at you, students. Students. Keep, graduate. Keep grind. And <laughs> keep up that daily grind. Do your homework. And you'll get a mention. Like, that means a lot. But Feed raw. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye. 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 Bye.